Welcome y'all to another Conelanders Dirt Rally League event. This week we're doing the next two stages in the Sweden December Rally. Probably should repair the car while I'm thinking about it. Yeah, I probably need to repair... the bodywork just to make sure that I have a wheel or a, um... A windshield that's not cracked. I don't remember if I did or not, so I'm just going to be a little preemptive. Practice went all right. As usual, I was having trouble staying off the sides. But we were able to do a 336. Didn't really look to see if that was good or not, because as usual, I'm betting it's more like two and a half is probably good. So we will have to see. I always just feel like I'm so out of control here. Mainly because you get sucked into this the snow banks and it's almost impossible to get off of it the good news is though is that this car is so short even if he Austin powers it it's not that big of a deal as I found out during practice Come on, car. Get off of there. In practice, I just really felt like I was trying to force the car more than anything else. So I'm trying to work with the car more a little bit right now. Not sure if it's actually working or not. But I'm trying. Then we're only going to do two stages today since we have eight for the month. We have a short and a long. And next week we'll have two shorts. Hope y'all enjoyed the week 13 shenanigans that went on. Seemed like everybody enjoyed the first lap of yesterday's video. Where I basically just got extremely lucky, repeatedly. I was amazed at just how lucky I got when I watched the replay back. Saw all the death around me. So I knew there was some going on, I just didn't realize how much. Come on, car. Maybe a little bit better. Not a whole lot, but maybe a little bit, and I'll take it. Every little bit helps. Small improvement. But yeah, I was about right. Which is not surprising. Only one big mistake, nothing else to really that bad. So I'll take it. Where did we end up? Almost there. Still really close to the folks around us, so we still have a chance. Wow, some of the folks that were near us just leaped ahead of us. We must have just done terribly. Which honestly, I probably should have done some more warm up before starting this. It is amazing how little you can see in the snow. So I'm going to be hating life this stage. One, 
And we're going to probably go a little bit slower, especially here in the first half. Because the game designers, being the trolling, the trolls they are, like to put people stationed on the outside of turns. And it doesn't take much to get to go over it. And even if you don't actually touch the people, they still count it. And this also has that part where you're going along the hill where there's death on the side. See what I mean? People in the... Nope. And we did it. That's one of the places I did it in practice where I was hoping I'd remember it and I didn't. We did it again up here. Because as you can see, like right there, people on the outside of the turn. I think it was right there I did it. I didn't remember anywhere else along here that was that bad. Probably because I don't remember it more than it's not being there. And since I'm mainly driving by visual because I don't remember anything the co-driver says, this makes it very difficult. And I feel like it's mostly because I'm just struggling to keep the car on track. So I'm so busy, I don't have time. I don't have any spare cycles to think about what he's saying and remember it. But I'd rather have this at night than this snow stuff during the day. Then again, snowing at night probably wouldn't be any better. This stage and the next two are going to be like this, though, but at least the next two are shorts. To make this much less painful than this long one. no idea why this is so difficult for me. Even when I was starting out road racing, it was not this hard. Now here's the death here on the side. I don't remember what her time was. It was like eight something. Don't die. Don't die. they would leave the thing up there until you hit it and then take it away you'd be like oh, okay that was the thing they were talking about i mean having those things up there is already an aid that you wouldn't get in actual rally so leaving it up there as a kind of a guide for the people that suck like me and need it would be nice yes it's a crutch but would it mean i would actually get better at this than just kind of struggling through it like this all the time yes at least i hope so Because right now, it's just so difficult to know exactly where I'm making the mistakes on whether I'm overdriving the car or just or what. Because I'm kind of just throwing it at stuff. So it's kind of hard to really judge whether I'm doing a turn better or not than the last time I did it. Right 
Because the thing that's, I think, the most frustrating for me about this game... It'll be interesting to see how well I do in, I race, in dirt once I race and gets dirt. Because I absolutely will give that a shot. I understand that won't be rally. It'll be more rally cross. Which I do seem to do better at. Big surprise. Being able to practice and learn. Because for me to do that here, I basically have to drive a stage until I knew it down cold and then I could actually judge whether I'm doing better or not come on off the wall That 15 seconds is really going to hurt us, especially because we're trying to catch up to people that are already about our speed and that are pulling away. So we'll have to see if we can figure that out. Kind of a rhythm going there where I was actually getting the car to turn with the brakes nicely and then did not there. And by nicely, I meant I actually felt like I was in control of the car for once. Not sure if we did faster or not because I don't remember what my exact time was. I'm just happy to be done with that state. Just oh, faster than two minutes, so I'll take it. And how badly are we now down? There we go. 13 seconds on Toby. Quite a bit. Well, that was fun. Have to see if we can do any better next week. Until then, if you like, leave a like. If you didn't leave a dislike. If you have any questions, suggestions, feedback, or advice, drop it in the box below. Good luck in your races, and y'all take it easy.